Welcome to Milo's Mods, ladies and gentlemen. So this is the Zero X Shot Pro Long Shot Blaster. It's a bull pump. You know what you guys are thinking? Well, Sam, man, everybody knows you don't like bull pumps. You're correct because I can't get used to the loading mechanism and the reload feature. It's just too much for me. Okay, and I prefer the traditional method, but it is what it is. That's the main reason why I didn't buy a Lynx because I couldn't real i i couldn't um rationalize spending 150 dollars on uh links you know especially when i'm not a fan of a bull pump so that's why i never bought a links but what we have here is we have a 30 dollar sprinter from target and i know you people are going to say wow that's pretty cheap i said yeah it really is now there's no flex in this shell, and Zoo is known for thin shells. There's no flex or give in this shell. This blaster feels like it's built to last. This thing does look like a Lynx. That's because it was kind of borrowed off of the Taurus, I believe, but I'm not sure, and I don't want to get into that because, well, I'm not one of those people that should speak on something like that, but it is what it is. But what we have here is a $30 swinger, and this blaster... No exaggeration, it's got a couple of nice features to it. One, it takes short darts. Okay, I'll get that out the way right now. Okay, so for your $30, you get the blaster, and this muzzle comes off, and inside of that, that's a scar. Yeah, it's like that. That's pretty nice, right? You also get 20 full length darts and 20 half length darts. You also get a full length magazine and a short dart magazine as well. This blaster takes talent magazines straight out the box. No modification needed. You don't need a special adapter or anything like that. This adapter takes talent, so I'll actually show you that on camera. This is really nice. This is a good one for this shit. The reason why I'm going to say that is because, one, it's priced appropriately. Two, it has a decent amount of speed behind it by 130 FPS. Yeah, that's like 130 FPS for this thing. But I understand with a simple spring upgrade, it'll do 200. Not a problem. Pretty awesome. So, but like I said, but what we got here is you get the blaster, you get two mags, 20 full length, 20 short darts, a short dart adapter for 30 bucks, which isn't bad. But the sights are also removable. They're not really the best sights in the world, so I think I'll just leave them off. I'll put something on later, I guess. But this thing does feel really nice to your hand. It doesn't feel cheap or anything. You know, especially for $30, you would think it would feel cheap or crack or something. Nothing. This blaster is built pretty good. And I can tell you, it definitely looks nice. The one thing I did notice is that the stock extends. So in case you want to, like, be a little bit longer, I guess, you know, for some of these people that wish they were a little bit longer. But, so... Let me give you a filing demo of this thing. And on the included darts with it, I don't know if it's just these darts that I have because I haven't found any refill packs yet, but these darts are either very heavy or very poorly made or something because I was only getting about 70 FPS on these. Yeah, it's crazy, ain't it? But now I want you to keep this in mind. This blaster is for taking Talon magazines right out of the box. It also takes Dart Zone mags, regular Nerf mags. And when I say Dart Zone mags, it takes the um, it it takes the ones for like the Max Striker, the Nexus Pro, and stuff like that. Okay, the full size mags. It also it it also takes the Pro adapters that come with the Nexus Pros and the Strikers and stuff like that. This blaster is really nice. Definitely well worth $30. I'll tell you that right now. All right. Load this blaster. And yeah, I'm only going to use short darts, so get used to it. 
it does have a very nice prime to it. Very, it's not really stiff. It's just, it's got a nice smooth prime to it. Now, that was one of the included darts it came with, and that shot at 100 FPS. When I said that, uh, that the darts it came with, for some reason, are heavier or whatever, I was getting speeds like that of 100 FPS. Second dart. Second dart was 105 FPS. And again, that's the darts it came with. Now we're down to... Uh, some of the more common darts. Right now, up I've got two um, Worker Generation 3 Plus High End. Then I have two of the um, Adventure Force Pro darts, two of the Diamond darts from Target, two of the OG Bamboos, and two of the Chevron darts. Now, that was off of a Generation 3 Plus, and that was 121 FPS. So you see how the darts it came with are like heavier or something, at least mine are. That was 127 FPS. That's not bad. Next up is one of the Air Pros. That was 163 FPS. That had to be an arrow shot or an outlier or something, but 163 off of an AF Pro Dart, that's not bad at all. I'm not really a fan of AF Pros, but if I get numbers like that, I'll run it in this blaster exclusively. And I know it was an arrow shot. The next AF Pro was 113 FPS. Next dart up is one of the Diamond Darts from Target. The same ones that go with the Max Striker and the Dictator and the other blasters they have. That was 114 FPS. Hundred and twelve FPS. Now we're gonna get into one of the OG bamboos. Hundred and twenty-five FPS. Another OG Bamboo, 122 FPS, first Chevron Dart, 134 FPS, that's on the Chevron Dart, last Chevron Dart, 128 FPS, so it seems to like Chevron Dart's the best go figure, some of the more expensive darts out there. Now this blaster does have a skinny pusher and... I also have a surprise for you too. This is a version two saber tip from FFW, okay? With a 16 millimeter alarm. Most of my high-end blasters are 16 millimeter barrels. It fits. Now let's see if it takes it. And this is the um, Adventure Force Pro Adapter. And these are just regular Gen 3 Plus. Hundred and sixteen FPS. Hundred and twenty two FPS. Hundred and fourteen FPS. And I've got one left. There is a window here to see when your darts load it and when you're out, but you have to be watching and if you're in the middle of play, the last thing you're doing is counting your ammo. It's very difficult. Don't dry fire blaster like this. This blaster will take a K25. This is a really awesome blaster. For $30, you cannot beat this at all. I, I mean, it checks all the boxes. It's talent compatible. It takes every mag out there. The only mag it doesn't take, oddly enough, is the uniform mags. It also takes um, katanas too, which is rather interesting. But like I said, it takes every mag out there except for the unicorn mag. It, it takes nerf mags. It takes dark zone mags. It doesn't matter. This thing takes it all. Okay. So it so it's definitely got compatibility. You can put your own scar on it pretty much. I mean, wow.
and it's priced appropriately. So it checks all three of the boxes. I mean, this blaster is just really awesome for the price, but for thirty dollars, you can't beat this thing. Um, I would put a buy link in the description, but I can't. The reason being is these are in Target right now. Okay. They're not on the shelves in Target, or at least this one wasn't. What I had to do for mine was that um, I went to my local Target, which is like five miles away from my job, and they didn't have them on the shelves. So I asked the lady if they had them in the back, and I gave her the DCPI number. And um, she said no, but she went and looked anyway. She didn't have it. But then she got on her phone and she called a, another Target, which is about 10 miles away from that one. And they had eight of them in stock. Now, these blasters right now, you have to go into the store and ask. They're not out on the shelves yet. 90% of these are not out on the shelves. You're going to have to go in the store and ask. And if they don't have it at that store, they'll send you to another one. That's what they did to me. They sent me to another Target that was 10 miles away from them just because they didn't have it. That's customer service. Okay? But like I said, it's it's a Target exclusive. So I don't know what distributorships are going to be what for where in the rest of the globe. I would like to find out. And on a side note, um, I know Conrad's going to ask, this thing could definitely use some bling, brother. Make it happen. Well, until next time, this is Milo's Mods, signing off.